Shalom, shalom. I want to start by giving my praises to the Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Um, My name is Brother Napak from the camp Prophets in Babylon down here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And um, I want to give that honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and word well, peace and blessings to hopeful elect. And I want to get into a short, quick lesson, you know, that the Brother uh, Abar reposted uh, from GMS Dedication. And it says, a diamond is a chunk of coal that did well under pressure. All right. You know, and the brother uh, GMS Dedication had dropped a fire, a fire scripture, you know, to go with it. It says Malachi 3 and verse 17, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And that day when I wake up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. All right. You know, so the Lord has called us his jewels, the man that, you know, wake up each and every day, you know, thinking of the Lord, you know, being about the Lord's business, standing on the Lord's business, man. All right, the man that goes week in, week out, you know, uh, every day, you know, sacrificing his time, you know, sacrificing the things that he that he were in this world, sacrificing things that he did in this world to be able to do righteousness and do this work, man. All right, and it's a beautiful thing to do this work. It's a beautiful thing, man, you know. And that's what we're coming into is, you know, doing the work of, you know, the creator of the universe, man. Like Apostle Tahar said, you know, we're doing the work of the, the, the creator of the universe, man. You know, so when you do this work, man, all right, you know, you, you do it you know, to the full of your ability, your best of your ability, man. Because we're not just doing it for no Edomite boss. You know, we're not just doing it, you know, for your, your racist ass Edomite boss at work, man. All right, we're doing this for the creator of the universe, man. All right, so it says, I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. So the Lord said he's going to spare his men. All right, Lord willing, you know, I be of that number. You know, we all, you know, pray and hope and have and, and seek for mercy from the Lord that we be of that number, that hopeful elect. It says, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. So the Lord will spare those men as, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him, man. So we serve the Lord, man. All right, we serve the Lord. We, we we go out and we serve the Lord week in and week out. You know, everything everything about our lives, man, is, is about us serving the Lord, man. This is our purpose in life, man. You know, people in the world, they have purposes in life that they feel like it's their purpose in life, which really could be, you know, that's what the Lord set up for you. You know, that's your lot. You know, if your lot is to eat a nuclear missile, that's your purpose, man. All right, so, you know, we have our, you know, the Lord gave us this truth, which is our purpose in life, man. You know, the, the true man of the Lord, it's their purpose in life, you know, to satisfy and please the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, you know, with our faith and with our works, man. All right. You know, so. Um, you know, when we go out, you know, we, we preach, you know, we serve the Lord, you know, we're bringing our prophecy, man. We, we're doing the Lord's work. We're bringing out the things that he says, you know, the things that the Lord says, the things that these scriptures says. We're bringing out these scriptures man all right to teach you how to be in the day that's coming and you know how you, you know how to get ready for the things that's coming man all right to teach you the lord's laws statutes commandments to do them to the best of our abilities you know that's what we do man all right when we do the lord's work man all right you know giving unto the brotherhood you know helping the brotherhood out you know it's a lot of things that come with this truth man you want to be on you know as, as, as you know as best as possible you want to be on top of all those things man you know, be able to give unto the brotherhood, you know, help the brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? You know, it should never be a burden, you know, to help a brother out, man. All right, it should never be a burden to be able to do something for the brother, man. All right, because if it is, man, you know, do you truly love that brother, man? Now I can see, okay, if, you, if, if you're not able to do it, or you don't have the, the tools or the things to do to help that brother out, man, but if you do and you still... You know, I don't want to go, I don't want to do this, no, I'm straight, I don't want to do that. You know, you see the brothers in need, man. All right, that's some, that's a demonic-ass spirit, man. You see your brothers in need and you, and you turn your eyes, man, you know, that's a demonic-ass spirit. You know, and I think I can get a scripture on that real quick. Right here, this is First John chapter three and verse seventeen. It says, "But whosoever hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the Lord the, the love of the Lord, 
our love of Yahweh in him. All right. So if you have the, the world goods, you know, and, you know, the money, you know, the things that you, you can use but not abuse in this world. All right. You have it. You're able to, you know, you're blessed enough to have those things, man. And you see your brother in need, your brother in need of help, and your brother in need of something, man. You you can you you got that. You can do it, man. You're able to do it, man. All right, and you shut up your uh, shut up uh shut up your bowels of compassion for that for that brother for that man. You know how how the love of of Yahweh how can the love of Yahweh dwell in you, man? All right, you know. You see that brother struggling, you see the brother need help, and you shut your bowels up to help that brother, to not help that brother, man, that's demonic, man, that's, that's, that's fucked up, you know, so, like I say, you know, with doing this truth, it comes with a lot of things, we want to be on top of all those things as much as possible, you know, doing the work of the Lord, you know, giving unto the brotherhood, you know, all these different things, man, but, uh, so like I kind of went off topic with that, I'm gonna, uh, get back with this, though, it says, that, you know, a diamond is a chunk of coal, that did well under pressure, man. So, you know, um, in this in this world, you know, uh, a lot of afflictions, you know, brothers of the Lord have have to take, have to go through, man. All right, there's a lot of afflictions, a lot of things, a lot of chastisement we got to go through. You know, but you you know uh, you got to be able to do well under that pressure, under those afflictions, under that under that hell, man. The Lord has faith in you. That's why the Lord gives you these things. The Lord's not going to give you nothing that you cannot handle. The Lord's not going to give you anything that you feel like is too much. All right, the Lord's going to give you as much as uh, as according to your portion of your faith of of, of your works. You know, that's what the Lord's going to give you according to how much you can handle. That's what the Lord's going to give you, man. All right, you know, and it, it might get amped up a little bit. Because you got to understand, we're coming to the times where demons are amping up, man. So we have to amp up in this faith, you know, in the spirit, in the diligence, you know, for this work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. We got to amp up more, man. All right? You know, and it's going to be a lot more pressure on you for that, man. These afflictions, this hell, the chastisement, all these things teaches us lessons, man, that we need to know to continue in the faith and be stable in knowledge and wisdom in those times we're coming into, man. All right? You have to go under that pressure, man. You have to, you know, face certain ordeals, man. And every hero and every story face ordeals and challenges that make him stronger. You know, that teaches him more about himself. You know, when you're at your lowest, that's when you learn the most about yourself. That's when you know who you really are. All right. And a lot of guys, when they're at their lowest, you know, they, they buck up and they break. All right. You know, so pressure can either burst pipes or create diamonds, man. Pressure can either break pipes or make diamonds, man. You know, so you want to be you want to be made into a diamond, a shining gem. All right. Lord called us him. Uh, called us his jewels, man. All right. Lord called his man his jewels. All right. So the Lord is putting pressure on us because before we got into this truth, man, we were cold. We were cold. We were, you know, dark. We were in darkness. We were in, you know, in the world, man. You know, so once we come to this truth, a lot of things change around and that pressure is being put on you. The longer you come to this truth, the more things you experience, the more hell you catch, the more afflictions you catch, the more you understand that the, that the Lord is putting you through a lot of shit, man. All right. And the reason the Lord is doing that because he loveth you as his own sons, man. All right. And he's making you into a diamond, making you into a beautiful jewel in the spirit. All right. Though your your flesh is weakened, your spirit is is abounding, you know, through these afflictions. All right, let's get that also. Uh, the flesh is weakened. Uh, let me get that right there. It says, uh, Matthew 26 and 41, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. I don't think that's it. But, you know, that too also, man. You know, watch and pray. You know, you enter, that you enter not into that temptation because the spirit, you know, the spirit is willing. You know, the spirit is willing to go through it all, do it all, but the flesh is very fucking weak, man. All right, and a lot of brothers, you know, think according to their flesh. Think carnally, you know, go, they don't really follow the spirit, man. All right? <sighs> you know, that's why you got, um, you know, you have, Brothers out there, you know, doing all types of different things, you know, according to the flesh, man. All right. 
and they would they would ignore the, the spirit. You know, and that's why you must stay on fire for the Lord, man, because the more you're on fire for the Lord, the more it first of all, you know, have balance, you know, have a certain type of balance, man, to be able to, you know, do this Lord, do the Lord's work and be able to take care of your family, take take care of the things of the world, you know, that you have to take care of, you know, or to be able to entertain yourself, like playing video games or something, you know, have balance, man. I'm not telling you to, to, to do, you know, do this Lord's work. And not pay your fucking bills, man. We're not telling you that, man. We're telling you to be on fire for the Lord, man. Or be on fire for the Lord, man. Because the more you're on fire, the less you're able to go off track. The less you're able to go off and go uh, drinking with some niggas and shit, man. The more you're on fire, the more you're pushing out, the more you know, you're doing for the Lord, man. Every day, we want to uh, do more each and every day. All right? Let's get that also. Uh, I think it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Romans fourteen verse five. It says, "One man esteemeth one day above another; another man esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind." So one man esteemeth one day above another man. Or right, each and every day, you know, you esteem that day above the last day. You know, doing more today than you did yesterday, than you did the day before that. You know, to be able to do the power and the works of the Lord, you have Hashem You know, to be able to do this work. All right. You know, but there's some dudes out there that that extend it every day. Like, you know, they do. You know. They read a chapter yesterday. You know, tomorrow they will read just one chapter or less again. Or maybe not even do anything. You know, and just sit on your ass every day. You know, selling the ass, not do no work. You know, just being lazy, man. Slacking. You know, when there's work, you don't want to slack. You don't want to slack, man. The Lord's going to do away with slackers, man. The Lord's going to do away with slackers. You know what I'm saying? So you want to continue in the work, you know, being on fire for the Lord and not slack. You know? And that's the big thing, man. You know, you don't want to slack in this work, man. And the work of Yahweh Shmi Shai, you know. So, I'm going to get this. This is Ecclesiasticus. So, because the Lord warned us, man. The Lord warned us, you know, that, you know, there's going to be a, a lot of things you have to go through, you know, following the works of the Lord, man. Let me get this scripture back out. I got to bring this out, too. There's going to be a lot of things you have to go through when doing the work of the Lord, man. So, the Lord warned us, he said. Ecclesiasticus 2 and verse 2 or 1. So like it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So if you're coming to serve the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, do this work. Prepare yourself for temptation, man. Prepare your soul for trials. But to prepare your, your, your souls for doing more. For abounding in the work, you know. Like I said, you know, these demons are amping up, so you're going to have to amp up more. You're going to have to, you know, put more put forth more on the table, man. Not just the same amount every fucking day, man. You're not supposed to be the same every day, man. You want to grow and abound each and every day, you know. So like I said, you know, when you're able to do, you know, be on fire for the Lord, you know, read, you know, read scriptures, do, um, do, you, do, you, do your weekly lessons, you know, the fight of the, the spirit and the vibrations being put out, you know, doing a lesson every day with GMS, man. Doing a lesson every day. You know what I'm saying? And if you're doing one lesson every day, that should be seven lessons seven seven lessons a week. You know what I'm saying? So the, 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 the vibration of being on fire is being pushed up, man. You know, the vibration of being on fire for the Lord, doing your due diligence for the Lord, all that's being pushed up, you know, to continue, you know, to do. All that's being pushed up, man. That's that vibration, you know. But uh, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Make not haste in the time of trouble. So constantly, you know, set your heart aright, your mind, you know, and you're constantly enduring, man. You know, we're setting our minds aright on, on, on the path of the Lord. You have our shot. You know, depending our faith in the Lord, constantly, you know, in the Lord of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, doing the works of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right. You know, so like I said, you know, these demons are amping up. Afflictions are, are, are getting, you know, 
more common every each, each and every day. Brothers are struggling, man. All right. Does that stop you from doing the work of the Lord? Does that stop you to, you know, to, to reduce the work and do more for Esau? You know, so you got to be able to have that spirit, that type of mindset, man. You know, it's not, it's not, you know, this, this truth, you know, co comes doing this truth, man. You got to do not, not just one thing, but other things as well, man. There's a lot of things you must be on top of, man. You know, alms, you know, giving, like I said, giving unto the brotherhood, giving, giving, you, you know, doing, being on fire for the Lord, you know, doing all these different things you got to do. You know, what's coming into this truth, man, and a lot of brothers can't handle that. That's why they end up folding, all right? That pressure end up, end up breaking their pipes, man, so they don't, they don't got no more, <laughs> they don't got no more fire, man, to keep, continue to, you know, do the same amount. Or to even do the truth at all. They don't have that fire, man. You know, a lot of the scripture says a just man, you know, follow seven times. But at the same time, you know, he gets back up. He gets back up and do it more, man. All right, so we have the weeks where, you know, we, we fail at some things. We, not, we don't do some things. We, we, we're not able, you know, to do some things. But at the end of the day, man, you know, you got to get back up and do more. All right? You got to get back up and do more, man. All right, like I said, the Lord gives you as much as you can handle. Not anything more, not anything less. All right. But there's going to be pressure on you, man. There's going to be, you know, the Lord's going to put some pressure on you, man. All right. That's, that's, a, that's the thing about the truth. You know, pressure is going to be put upon you. You know. So you got to stay on fire for the Lord. You know, continue to do the work for the Lord. Continue to have faith for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We all doing this thing for you. How about you, man? man? All right. Now, if you're doing work for the creator of the universe, you want to do as much as you can, you know, to, to please the creator of the universe. All right, this man, you know, the Lord, the Lord is Alpha and Omega. He created the whole, you know, everything you see. You know, he created everything you see. He created, every, you know, everyone. You know, we were created, man, you know. Through the Lord, you have a man. You know, so the Lord know your heart. Lord knows their other hearts, man. The Lord says he can rise up lively stones to do this work, man. The Lord has no need for us, man. All right, so that's why you want to please the Lord, you know, so, so the Lord can continue to, to sup with you, you know. The Lord can continue to deal with you, all right, you know. But um, I'm going to get this also, all right. This is a... Uh, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10 says, Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. All right, so we're giving our due diligence to make our calling and election sure, man. And if we're doing these things, we stand on fire, trying our best to stay on fire for the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahushai, we're going to never fall, man. Like I said, if you're staying on fire, man, you know, it's going to be harder for you to, you know, get off the route, get off path. It's going to be a lot harder, man. All right. But if you're sitting there slacking, you're doing all these other different things, you put your mind, your, 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 your energy into different things, that's not of this truth, it's going to be a lot easier for you to be, a, be with some wicked-ass niggas, you know, drinking and, and doing all other type of shit, you know, with those wicked-ass niggas, man. You know? But, um, kind of, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the whole selection. The ones listening in, you know, I just want to give them a short, short, quick lesson, you know, because uh, the Lord put that spirit, the Lord's putting a vibration out, you know, of, you know, being on fire, you know, doing more, giving unto the brotherhood, giving unto, you know, the man you're labeled with, you know. So, yeah, man, you know, this truth isn't just about doing one thing, but you got to do multiple you know, it's not, it's not going to be easy. You know, you, you want a position. You, you know, we're all working on our own salvation, so it's not going to be easy, man. It's going to be hard, you know. But, uh, kind of, the Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to the Lord, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh, Kakadash. We get the bonus to the elders and apostles, great millstone. Peace and blessed to the whole elect. Shalom, Akim.